I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Okay, today's project is how to draw a cowboy. And a big shout out to E2, who says he's a big fan. All right, you take three fingers in the center, underneath, put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a curved line up, straight line down, and leave floating. Come back to the dot, curve line up, straight line down, and leave that floating. Starting over here on the left, we're going to draw a curve line up, Curve line down, curve line up, curve line over, and leave it floating. Right inside, about here on the left, let's repeat and mimic that line. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now we come right even with this line above and we draw a straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. You can go ahead and add that little line right there if you have one hanging. Now, a left side, curve line out, in, connect on the left, curve line out, in, connect on the right. Come inside and draw one curve line on the left, one curve line on the right. Come back to the left, slightly curve line, curve line, on the left, slightly curved line, curved line on the right. In the center, straight diagonal, curved line, and leave it floating. Come underneath and draw a curved line out, zigzag, 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 curved line in, connect. Right underneath, let's draw a curved line. Starting up here on the left, we're going to draw a wavy, wavy line, connect on the left. Wavy, wavy line, connect on the right. Come down on the left, and we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, connect. I come on the left-hand side, and I draw a curve line down off the page. Come on the right-hand side, draw a curve line down off the page. Starting on the left, I'm just going to draw some straight lines all the way across and up on the right. Okay? I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we're going to do some double coloring, but the first thing I want to do is I want to color in my hair, which is this on the left, this on the right. I'm going to come over on the left on my eyebrows and just do a loop-de-loop -loop line. I'm going to come in and do my mustache black. And this is my beard. So I'm going to go ahead and color this whole section black, but I'm also going to color a little bit over that line because it is his beard. Okay? Now, oops, and I forgot his eyes. I'm going to give him black eyes. Okay? Now, if you have face color, I'm going to color his ears. I think this is tan. This is his face. I'm going to do all of this tan color. If you don't have tan, you can use a light brown. And that's fine because it was kind of dirty out there in the Old West. Not a lot of showers and baths going on there. Okay, next. Using my same color as my face color, I'm just going to put a light color band of this color on my 10 gallon hat. And then I'm going to double color with a little bit of brown, regular brown, over that so we get that two tone color. Color this section, maybe do my rim again. 
and come down and do my buckskin coat. This is buckskin. We're going to make this brown also. Okay? Then the last thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to take my black and I'm going to just add some lines of black on my 10 gallon hat, top and bottom. Okay? Then, one more thing, with my blue crayon, I'm going to write, I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, come down on the right, curve line, curve line, come back on the left, curve line, curve line. And then I'm going to do a very light loop-de-loop -loop color all the way around. Because what's interesting is it was so clean the air and the countryside those skies were bright blue so even though the cowboys might have been a little dirty the environment was gorgeous okay all right let's see what he looks like all colored in okay here's my cowboy with the 10 gallon hat all colored in ready for the rodeo or cow punching or some other activity in the Old West. Okay, bye bye.